This program is made by the volunteers at Math Circle Online. Please join us to explore the wonders of math. In this video, we will be taking a look at the 2015 AMC 10B problem number 15. In triangle ABC, angle C equals 90 degrees and AB equals 12. Squares ABXY and ACWZ are constructed outside of the triangle. The points X, Y, Z, and W lie on a circle. What is the perimeter of the triangle? Okay, from the problem, we are given that right triangle ABC has a square extended from its hypotenuse, which is ABXY, and a square extended from its one of its legs, which is ACWZ. And they, uh, the corners of the squares are touching a tangent on a, really, a big circle. So we know that all chords um, when tr having have a drawn uh, a radius drawn through them, they will be perpendicular. So since x y and w z are both chords, that means if we draw a perpendicular bisector, then we will get a se uh, center point. So draw something roughly like that from XY and from WZ to be somewhere on the hypotenuse. And we can deduce that the exact point would be the midpoint of the hypotenuse since both of them are dividing the hypotenuse uh, the, this one is dividing the hypotenuse in half this one is uh, dividing the leg in half which will also divide the hypotenuse in half. So we can just conclude that the center of the circle is also the middle of the hypotenuse. Which would mean that, and then we can, we can name this O. Which means that AO is 6 and that BO is also 6. Now we can draw the lines OY and OZ. And this would be, these would be our radi radii. So something like that. And from here we can use a lot of Pythagorean theory uh, to get us the uh, side lengths AC and BC. So we know that OY would be 6 squared plus 12 squared and then square rooted. Or actually do this o y squared right since right since um, this side length is twelve since it's a square and since o y is our radius we can we also know that this length times uh, squared plus this length squared would also equal to the same value so if we name length AC as A and BC as B, we can come up with another equation. And by the way, 6 squared plus um, 12 squared is equal to 180. So coming back here, this length would be half of AC, so this would be A over 2, and this length would be half of B plus the A. So that'd be A plus B over 2. And so our next equation would be A over 2 squared plus A plus B over 2 squared would be equal to 1 8. And now if we expand this, we get A squared over 4 plus a squared plus a b plus b squared over 4. And since we know that a squared plus b squared would also equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is 12, 
that would mean it would be 144. And since we have a squared over 4 and b squared over 4, oh, oops, b squared over 4 here, we can also um, simplify this by making it 144 over 4, right? And then this would be 36. So if we plug this in, we get 36 plus a squared plus ab is equal to 180. And then subtracting 36 from both sides, we get a squared plus ab is equal to 144. But we already know that 144 is also equal to a squared plus b squared. So if we plug in a squared plus b squared for 144, we get a squared plus ab is equal to a squared plus b squared. From here we can cancel a squared on both sides, and we can also divide b on both sides, which will give us a equal to b. From here, we just know that the ABC is just an isosceles right triangle. So that would mean the legs would be both the same uh, length, but more importantly, we know that the ratio of an isosceles right triangle would be a a a root 2. So, a would equal to, a root, my bad, a root 2 would equal to 12. That means one of its legs would be 12 over root 2, which is also equal to 6 root 2. Um, if we rationalize the denominator by, yeah. So, one of its side lengths is 6 root 2, so we multiply that by 2 for each of the two legs. So, 12 root 2 plus 12. And this would be the perimeter of the triangle, which would also be our final answer.